so in order that type of a time to lead the qualifying from semi to final? Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting the time. I saw the time, I was like, ooh. But I'm just glad I'm pro progressing very nicely, tweaking things that I need to be tweaked from the first round, moving through the second round, and then we're gonna take all that and go into the final. What's it like when you surprise yourself at the end of a race? Um, it's not a surprise anymore because it's something that I know I'm capable of. I just have to put it together. So it's like, oh, 52. And then it's like, okay, we'll get back to work. If that was 52 and it felt like that, I just know I can go faster. Much faster. Child, we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out come Thursday at whatever, whatever o'clock. <laughs> what were you thinking out in lane eight, right? There wasn't too many, had basically everyone inside you. Mind my business. That's all you can do is mind your business. Um, I got a PR out in lane eight, uh, what was that, two or three weeks ago? Um, I like lane eight, I like the outside lane because it's just like, it's just you out there. The target is on your back, you're not worried about nobody else. You have no choice but to run your race plan. And that's exactly what I did, I executed. How do you balance that between huge PR in that 400, now you're cruising through these 52s, I mean, how do you balance both events preparing for the championships? Um, you just kind of think of them the same. You just layering four flat, four hurdles, putting some hurdles over it. I don't want to try to make to differentiate them too much because at the end of the day, it's still 400. It's still me, and you don't want to change anything. You just kind of naturally.